We don't have time for a panel, but come to the end. No, no, wait, wait, I got to say. Come to the news, and then we'll just like whatever questions you want. Oh, I needed to challenge myself to do something else. Doing three seasons of Hawaii Five O wasn't enough, or whatever. Where I'm like. Alrighty, guys. So I think I have a good one for you today. Now, a lot of my videos are true crime, celebrity graves, and they're a little more sad or serious. But today, we are in Livonia, Michigan, to go to a Comic Con. It is. I don't know if you can see outside. It's stormy outside, but they're going to have the cast of Clerks, uh, Mallrats, uh, Dogma, Chasing Amy, all the Kevin Smith movies are going to be there. We're going to go meet some of them, and I'm going to show you what they look like today and uh, take you through the whole Comic-Con. So let's go check it out. Alrighty guys, we made it to Astronomicon. I'm gonna have to do a voiceover because it's so loud in here and so noisy. But this is Astronomicon 6 and it's in Livonia, Michigan. Let's get started and I'll do some uh, voiceover where it's appropriate. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so this area right over here, if you look just to the right, I'm gonna show it. Our is a wrestling section. It's actually on the left and on the right. But this is where they had a lot of the uh, wrestlers. And they had a lot of vendors here too, which was pretty cool uh, to see. But right over here were the uh, some of the wrestlers and uh, some actors. Here's Peter Dante. Devon Dudley. Alrighty guys, so Doug Bradley, the absolute horror icon, was also here. And that was pretty cool. You would know him as Pinhead from the Hellraiser series. He was in Pumpkinhead, Ashes to Ashes. He's been in a lot of uh, horror movies, but he was here and that was kind of cool to see him. They had quite a few vendors, uh, not as much as some of the bigger cons, but uh, they had quite a few vendors. And one of the vendors I love checking out every time, and I've seen them at other cons, is Crypt Keepers. I, I just love all those mask collections and, uh, and I've started my own. But uh, I just thought that was really cool to see. I also thought there were a lot of cool costumes at this event. Check this one out very cool costume some of them are really really well done and you can tell that the people have really taken the time to uh, create the costume one of the places that we sort of hung out the most at the con was where all the celebrities were from uh, the chasing Amy mall rats uh, clerks all the Kevin Smith movies uh, and it's right over here. You can see the lineup on the left is for Jason Mewes. And the lineup right there on the right is for Joey Lauren Adams. And I'll uh, show you more of them in a minute. There's Jason Mewes right there uh, meeting people. And uh, he wore a mask, but he, he took off his mask for any selfies. There's Brian O'Halloran from uh, Clerks. In this clip, you can see actually Brian O'Halloran speaking to Joey Lauren Adams, probably just catching up, but she went over to his table and they were chatting for a while. And then this is uh, Jason Mew's area.
Now, people were bringing uh, baby gifts for Jay Muse, obviously, because they just had their little boy. Uh, I congratulated, and you'll see that coming up, and uh, we took pictures with him. He was really, really cool, but yeah, a lot of people were bringing gifts and things for, uh, for his newborn. So this is when we uh, took pictures with him and uh, and we were able to chat while we were doing that and it was kind of cool uh, it was kind of cool meeting Jay he uh, he seems like a decent a decent dude. Now in this section they had uh, the Ghostbusters Detroit was there. They had more vendors and it was there were some cool vendors. A radio station had set up, and uh, like I said, there were a lot of cool costumes there. But uh, there were there were some interesting vendors there with uh, collectibles, art, comics, of course, uh, toys, figures, and it was it was pretty cool to see. Now this is the Ghostbuster Detroit. And they've been at other cons and we always enjoy seeing them. Uh, they give out buttons and take photos and they do a really great job just interacting with the kids. Now, because we were there a little earlier in the day, some of the celebrities hadn't shown up yet. Harley Quinn Smith was coming. There's Ethan Souple. He's there. He looks great. He, he looks absolutely great. He lost so much weight. Uh, John Lovitz hadn't arrived. And then, of course, we got the... Uh, this was a weekend where Kevin Smith was supposed to attend. And we got the bad news that uh, his flight was delayed and then canceled because of weather and Jason Lee, the same thing happened to. So that was a disappointment because we were, we were looking forward to meeting Kevin Smith and Jason Lee, but uh, the con was great nonetheless. This was also cool to see. Jay Muse went over to Ethan and uh, they ended up chatting over there and catching up. So that was kind of cool to see. And like I said, Ethan looks great uh, these days, but uh, there's Jay and Ethan uh, catching up. Uh, so many movies together and that was uh, kind of cool to see. Alrighty, so Ethan went back and there's Jay Muse right in front. You'll see him running back to his booth. To go meet fans. Um, Trish Stratus showed up uh, late because uh, of weather delays, but she was excellent. She showed up at one of our panels. <laughs> there was war. Uh, she showed up at one of our panels and just told everybody to come to her booth and she would stay as long as she had to. So she was really cool with, uh, with her fans.
All right, besides the vendors, there's Joey Lauren Adams, of course, from Chasing Amy, and she had all her headshots out, and uh, uh, she was there. There she is right there. She was set up right across from the clerks, guys, and from Jason Mewes. So at this point, we went and just walked around and checked out the other vendors. And, and like I mentioned, there were some really cool vendors with some really interesting uh, um, collectibles. So the hall was only so big, so you can only fit so many vendors, but it was well done. And the next clips just show some of the vendors in the, uh, in the hall. Alrighty, one of the coolest vendors we saw was this lamp guy. Uh, Gramps making lamps or something like that. And he had some incredible lamps. And it just shows you the talent uh, to do all that. But he had some just amazing looking lamps. Horror lamps. Disney lamps. Uh, but yeah, they, they were just second to none. They were really cool. And they worked. A lot of them actually had, uh, he used animatronics uh, when he incorporated it into the lamp. So it was pretty cool to see. Paul's Pops over on this end was really cool. And they had quite a few collectibles, figures, and of course Funkos, but it was really cool. They had a, they had a large selection.
But again, every time, the cool thing is every time I feel like I see her or see uh, anyone that we've worked with multiple times on the movies, always it's like, oh my gosh, how you been? And always super nice and sweet and, and it's been great. Again, I, I really do no lie, like, and like I enjoy working on Kevin's movie so much because I feel like we've always, yeah. uh, you know, he always has the, uh, the same people, and then there's always new people, and everyone just seems to really be pleasant and have fun, and the environment from everyone just sort of keeps it fun and calm and chill. Um, like, ideally, I always, I always joke with Kevin, I feel like my ideal, I feel like, um, career right now and so on would be to do a mo one movie with Kevin every year, um, and then in the free time be like really big on on Twitch. Like I love streaming so much, but like I can't afford to just stream because you know I I got a, you need a lot of people to be subscribing and stuff. Yeah. But I enjoy it so much is my point. But if I could do that only as a job, I would do that in like one movie or whenever Kevin did a movie, um, I would do it because I have so much fun and, and I, I actually enjoy it. like I don't need I know sometimes like I don't feel like I'm at, at, at I love I like I enjoy acting. But I'm not an actor who's like, man, I need to do this because I really want to challenge myself. Or, you know, I hear a lot of times you see people on a TV show and they'll disappear and you'll read up, like, why did they leave the show? It's up after season two. And I'll be like, oh, I needed to challenge myself and do something else. Doing three seasons of Hawaii 5 0 wasn't enough or whatever. Where I'm like, no, fucking sign me up. I want to be fucking, uh, what's your name from SVU, dude? Give me 20 seasons of fucking Law and Order. Uh, I'm um, really just uh, here to say sorry uh, of how late it was, but we wanted to say she's here. She wanted to say hi and come over and uh, see her at the booth. We don't have a time for a panel. We don't have a time for a panel, but come mm. and no, no, wait, wait, I guess I'm going to and then we'll just like whatever questions you have there, we can just blab away in the booth. How's that? How long are you going to be over at the booth? All the, the rest of the show. Okay. As long as you guys are there, I'll be there. 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 I'll Tons of fun in Livonia. We met tons of great people. It is really difficult and I'm, I'm learning how to film these cons a little bit better to put it in some type of order, but it was really difficult to piece it together. So anyway, I hope you got a little bit out of the video. Subscribe. Let's go on more adventures together. Thanks guys.